Hi, today I thought I'd do a review of body moisturizers. Now, if you've watched my earlier videos, you know I'm in a new place with an amazing new bath, so um, I'm really getting back into all things to do with bathing. And that means more frequent water contact, a bit more immersion, which means drier skin. So I have more emphasis on moisturizing after my bath. So I thought I would review three products that I find really useful. One is a utilitarian, everyday, very easy to use, does what it says on the tin um, product. One is a high-end, luxe experience type product. And one is for really dry days. So let's crack on. The um, go-to product at the moment for me, for body, for everyday use, and in fact for my other half as well who finds it to be excellent, and we all know that with men, um, that means it's not greasy, that it does the trick, that it doesn't smell weird. Um, it's uh, Lipicar Bomb from La Roche-Posay. This is almost empty. Um, we've really hurtled through this. I think we've had this for about three weeks now on the go and it's almost finished. So we've been moisturizing generously. Um, but I really love this product and it's got a good mix of emollients and occlusive moisturizing agents. It's also got some shea, which makes it feel quite luxy, and some niacinamide, which helps repair barrier function. So awesome stuff, men and women like it equally. Then, Luxie Wise Aesop, don't you just love the packaging? A bathroom cabinet shelf, always looks more chic with Aesop on it. Um, and this is my favorite scent from their range. It's the Rejuvenate uh, range within their brand. And this reminds me of Sydney in 2000 when I was there for my second medical year um, working as a doctor. And I'd escaped to Sydney for six months and that turned into 12 months because it was very nice. And I remember discovering Aesop back then. So a huge 17 years ago, that's quite disturbing. And it was that combination of sandalwood, vanilla, and tangerine rind that is so redolent of that time and takes me straight back in the way that a really potent scent sometimes can do. Still love it, still buying it in the largest size of the bottle. And yeah, gorgeous. I tend to use that on myself, largely on limbs and below boobs because I, I'm a bit irritable with scents um, these days, but I love it for the smell and for the really moisturizing, nourishing feel it has on the skin. Then finally, um, it's not very sexy looking, but this stuff, if you're really dry and you can bear the feel of an ointment on your skin, and it's not for everyone, but if you're really dry or you have really focal dry bits like heels or elbows, or knees, this stuff is truly awesome and it comes in a massive tub and that's a tenner. Um, it's the kind of stuff we use in patients with eczema, but I think lots of people can benefit from a good general purpose, um, irritant free, I mean it's got no SLS, no parabens, pretty much just wipes off paraffin, liquid paraffin, so it's a really occlusive moisturizer, but it's a good texture, so it's quite, um, it's quite soft and you can even add this to the bath to make the bath less drying if you're really having a dry spell. It does make a bit of a mess with the bathtub though. Uh, but yeah, this is really good stuff if you're prone to dry skin or indeed have eczema or psoriasis or other dry skin conditions or just want something really nourishing for the extremities. This is quite good if you apply that for instance at night onto feet that have been really kind of put through their paces, literally and metaphorically, and you put a thick layer of that on, maybe some cling film or plastic bags, socks over the top, and in 15 minutes you have the softest feet ever. So there you have it. Uh, from high to low end, three body moisturizers I think you'll really like. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments down below. Bye for now.